We're welcoming back NFL analyst Joe Gabasi, who's coming off another big win. Thursday night, last night, he had everybody, uh, you know, just jump on board with Minnesota with the points, and sure enough, they covered comfortably. So congratulations once again uh, to Joe. He's just doing what he does best, and that's his homework. He digs deep, and uh, I'll never forget what he said. Don't look in the rearview mirror. It does no good. So here we go. We've got the Lone Ranger play of the week, which has got the San Diego Chargers going to Kansas. Kansas City to take on a very red hot Kansas City Chief team. Now, uh, the Chargers are getting 10 and a half. And years past, Joe, I would have said, wow, you give Phillip Rivers 10 points, you're not going to cover that. But this team is absolutely crumbling like a cookie. And I don't understand when they're going to stop the league. Now, I'm anxious, though, as always, to hear your breakdown and why you think the 10 and a half is going to be enough this week you know, to cover against, again, a red-hot Chiefs team, because if anything, I would have thought you might have gone on the other side. So break it down for us, Joe. Welcome back, and uh, show me one, you know, particularly why you think the Chiefs uh, are not going to be able to stand a, a, a bigger lead than the 10 points or 11 points. Lone Ranger selections now 11-2 and two against the spread this season in NFL action because of just such contrary selections as this. 33-3, the numbers that are emblazoned in the San Diego locker room this week, because now at three and nine straight ups, they have little to play for for the season, except spots like this. Their worst home loss in over 50 years came to a division rival, and be sure that San Diego will be ready for this one. Yes, they looked absolutely awful the entire season, and there's little to recommend for them, especially going up against the Kansas City Chiefs team, who has now won and covered six consecutive games, scoring 32 or more points in all of those, winning by an average margin of 19 points, and covering those games by nearly 100 points. But a closer look inside the statistics of last week showed that even though they beat Oakland, Oakland won handily in the stats. And that is my clue that the bubble is about to burst for this Kansas City team. Pressure now all on Kansas City while San Diego Chargers clearly playing loose and relaxed. I like the very contrary play on the San Diego Chargers. Please join me in this one as only you and I and the Lone Ranger will be on this very contrary play. And again, Joe, they're getting 10 and a half points. So obviously you're thinking as well that maybe Rivers still has enough gas in the tank to, you know, to spurn that, that offense to where it needs to be. Uh, I am amazed also after a one and five start, how not only have the Chiefs been covering, but they have just been really consistent and the defense has stepped up. Randy, uh, Andy Reid has really, really just turned that thing around. And I thought that was really going to be a disaster the way it was headed. Um, I, I wanted your opinion on something also. I read somewhere that uh, San Diego, the brass of the Chargers, has given Coach McCoy a vote of confidence. Do you feel this guy's done a good enough job to, to keep his job there in San Diego? Clearly not. Clearly not. He, he has not in the vote of confidence is, us, is often more a kiss of death. So let's keep a monitor on that very closely as the season keeps on. Nonetheless, I feel that uh, this is a great spot for the Chargers here this week. Keep in mind, one final note. Andy Reid, one of the best road coaches and worst home coaches in NFL history, as the road team now stands 29-9 and nine in Andy Reid coach games. That is strong, and I'm a, I'm an ex, you know, I'm an Eagles fan, but Andy Reid used to be our coach, so uh, he hurt us a whole lot at home. So that does make sense, and you know, your statistics give me no reason to go against it, and I was just anxious to hear it. Uh, I remember years past when Rivers and company used to play the Chiefs very strong, very tight. It was always a close game, so I think that battle might be closer than 10 points as well. So viewers, you heard it. Jump aboard, all right, with the San Diego Chargers getting 10 and a half points at Kansas City this week. Uh, and this is going to be a big one for the Lone Ranger play of the week for Joe Gavassi. Joe, thanks again for being with us as always. And we look forward to having you back again with us real soon. I look forward to joining you in these videos as always. And good luck to you guys out there.